Hi everybody, good to see you. In this new series, I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of cute and handy stuff that you can make for your cats. You see, my cats are driving me crazy if I don't keep on giving them new things. That's why I keep coming up with new cat ideas like this cat bed. The first thing you need to do is to find a box that fits the size of your cat. My cat has put on a bit of weight recently, so I... Well, uh, maybe a bit too big. Uh, I got another one here. Then you need to glue the flaps down properly at the bottom so that the foundation is really strong for your cat. Uh, come to think of it, it's really good to glue down the top flaps as well so that the whole box is more stable when you work at it. Next we draw on the shape of the bed. So we can start in one end, so let's say this is the top end of the bed where the pillow is. So we make a nice curve up here, make sure the sides are equal. And we move on to the other side of the bed. Same thing, only here the curve is lower down. Then we go from this end in a smooth curve, first down and then up to the front bit of the bed. Actually, the best thing is to put the box down and then move your whole arm like this from your elbow and get a nice smooth curve. And here's a little trick to make the sides equal. That this side is exactly the same as that side. It starts with cutting this piece out. Then I take this piece, I put it exactly the same way on the other side, and then I trace off this wonderful curve. Nice. Now we can cut along all the lines around. And uh, whoppa! Oh, we got a cat bed! Now look at those beautiful shapes! Now before we move on, let's cover up this gap between these two flaps with a piece of cardboard so that the whole foundation is a bit more solid. Now first add a few dashes of uh, glue. Stuff on a piece of cardboard, perfect fit, push it down, and it's done. Next, we add the ears, feet, and tail. I have cut out the pieces here, oh, there's our ears, and uh, feet, and tail. You see, the fun thing with loose uh, body parts is that you can move them around. Let's say you can go for this sort of look or this sort of look, or small ears. Same thing with the feet. You can have them close together, you can have them far apart, pointing outwards, pointing inwards. <laughs> Let's start gluing them on. Let's add some glue just down here by the base. Stick them on like this. Then the feet like this. And then I fit the tail on right here. But first, I need to make a little cut. I can make a little curl so that it rests below the foot of the cat. Yeah, I think that's nice. Then a little bit of glue, a bit here, and a bit at the end of the tail. You see, now the shape really starts to look like a cat, doesn't it? Especially if I add these <laughs> eyes. Where? You can put them close together, far apart, low down, high up, and get different expressions all the time. But since this is a cat bed, I want to draw a really dreamy expression in the cat's face. We start with drawing a line down the middle of the cat's face. Then the nose goes in the middle, here comes the smile, and then the dreamy eyes. Then we paint in the lines. And when the lines are dry, we can paint on the spots. I start with drawing the outline of the white spot first.
then I switch to a dark transparent gray and I keep on uh, adding the spots one down here by the foot another spot up here continuing around on the cat's back on the left foot and inside the ears and a white spot at the tip of the tail some pink toes and a little pink nose oh so cute whiskers and now for the really exciting part the bed interior decoration and here you can go nuts with anything you have in your cupboards or your closets different colors pillows toys but this time i'm going for a really classic crispy white uh, soft bed with a little pillow and a nice crispy soft duvet perhaps a little touch of color and a fluffy little good night friend or two now if you get kittens i have a special little treat for you a kitten beddy perfect for up to six kittens because they like to sleep close together <laughs> my cats are meowing for me again okay i'm coming To show you how to make a cat cafe from a box you see my cats got fed up by seeing me going to fancy cafes having italian food and giving them nothing can you believe that so if you have the same problem here's how to give them what they want yeah it's coming oh. We start with the box a bit like this, uh, you know, a bit tall and slim and glued together at the both uh, sides. Next, we draw a big cafe window in the front of the box and then a smaller one on the side. So I bring up my ruler and draw a smaller window. We cut them out. Like this. Then we draw the face of the cat above the cafe window. Now it does help to draw a line down the center so that we can make the face symmetrical. There, that's the center. First the nose, the eyes, and then the mouth. A nice big smile. And open up the mouth a bit. And then we paint in the lines. And when the lines are dry, we cut out the mouth. Oh, now it starts to look like a cat cafe, doesn't it? But we still need two key features of the cat to make that perfect cat look. Ears and tail. I have just cut them out of cardboard. And then to make the ears stand up and uh, stay strong, I have cut some little strips of cardboard that I'm gonna glue together and add to the ears. Let me show you in a second. So first I put a bit of glue here. I put this on top of that and on top of this. See now we have two strips that are quite wide at the base here. So when I glue that onto the ear, this forms a very thick and solid base down at the bottom of the ear so that when I glue it on, it will stay upright really strong. I have also cut out a few other things that we will need. Arms, 
a chef's hat, sunscreens, window edges, and a tongue. Now, the sunscreens I have just cut out of white cardboard, but you can also use brown and then paint it to any color you like later. Let me show you how I have done it. First, I use a ruler and a pencil and I draw uh, two lines like this. This is for folding for later and then a whole bunch of parallel lines down. So this is the thickness of the pattern of the sunscreen. You can see here I have started drawing the rounded edges and then later cutting them out like this. And then for the folding I use a ruler and then I just press the ruler against both uh, lines. Now by doing this, I make it easier to fold it later. You see now, I can just go like this, fold it in a straight, neat fold. Then I do the same thing down here at the ends. Now let's glue them on. I can put lots of glue at the end here. That will make the ears really nice and strong. Beautiful. And then the tail kind of curls around and comes up by the window. So here we need to sort of fold it up a bit like this. And then in front here, I need to make a fold so that we glue it onto the back like this. But before we glue it all together, let me just add a little line here for the forearm of the cat. Paint it in. Okay, let's glue. Plenty of glue, on it goes. At a slight angle, a bit like this. Then we stick on the sunscreen right above the uh, cafe, the big cafe window. Squeeze, later we can push it down a bit. And the small one. Then the window edges, one for the big window and one for the small. Next we add the chef's hat, peep, nice. And finally the tongue, meow. So now we are ready for the color. But before we start painting, it's important to realize that we already have a really beautiful color cardboard brown. So all we really need is to add a little pattern and I start sketching that with a pencil. And then we paint it up with a color that matches the cardboard brown. And the sunscreen. Then some white in the eyes. And white frames around the windows. Now, every cafe needs a cafe sign. Luckily, I've cut one out of cardboard right here. And on the back, I've stuck a strip of uh, brown cardboard to make it more 3D later when we stick it on the cafe. So, I start with drawing the Cat Cafe logo on top, a little circle, two big ears, and that's it. Then I write Cat Cafe, like this. Some lovely pink, and we paint in the lines. And two little eyes for the cat. Let's glue it on. Beautiful. Now, how about food? Our cafe needs food. Yeah, man, <laughs> we need lots of food. All you need to do now is to put food on a regular tray and serve it up as an Italian delicacy. And here's a little treat for your kittens. Hey, Italian delicacy. Another cool thing you can make is this. 
a cat cafe menu. Now it's really easy to make. You just fold a piece of cardboard like this, paint on the logo on the top and the name, put a sheet of paper inside with the logo and all the great things that you can order down here, a little decoration, and you got a cat cafe menu. And your cat can order anything. And as the chef and the waiter, you need to start preparing. What? Paul Norwegian cartoonist? I can't find that on the menu. Hi everybody, good to see you. I have been drawing cats for years. I just love that stretchy flexibility of cats. Take this one for instance, or this classic from the 90s. Or how about this crazy fella? Nowadays, I really enjoy making my cats in 3D. Take this one for example, the cat boxer toy. I mean, look at that stretch! Now here's how to make it. First find a suitable box. Now the size of your box is up to the size of your cat of course. But this is a pretty good uh, boxing height for my cat. Just make sure that the flaps are all glued down so that the box is completely sealed. Then we sketch the cat onto the box. I use the ruler and I draw a center line first as a guideline. I start with the nose, the smile and the eyes. And then the big open mouth on the side, a real big stretch almost all the way down and a little bit up at the end. On each side I draw the arms. They just hang straight down like this and the lines will look even better when we paint them in. And the arms. Some lines I don't need to paint in because they are guidelines for where I'm going to cut and paint the color later. Let's cut out the big mouth. <laughs> you see, now it starts to look like a crazy cat, doesn't it? Now we need to make the extra bits. The ears, the feet, the tongue, the teeth and the tail. I've cut them all out from a sheet of cardboard. Now for the ears, I need some extra bits that we glue on here in order for the ears to stand up straight and be stronger after they're glued. Now let's glue all the bits onto the cat box. I start with the ears. We continue with the tongue, but first we need to fold it a bit, curl it a bit, so that it has the right sort of tongue shape like this bit of glue under here and on it goes. Nice. Then the feet and I'm gonna curl the toes up a little bit, curling the toes here and a little bit on the, the heel as well so that they fit down here, this type of shape. But before we glue them on, I'm gonna stick on these little cardboard chips at the back of the feet because I want them to stick out and look a bit more three-dimensional. Then we put glue on the back of the chips as well and on they go. I let them point outwards a bit. It's funny and cute. And then the teeth. There's a little bit of glue at the top of the tip of the top and in they go. Yeah! And finally, the tail. Goes on the back here. I start with making a little 
fold so that we can stick it onto the back of the cat like this and then I curl up the tail at the other end so that we get this sort of look. I glue it on here and then a little bit of glue where the tip meets the cardboard at the other side. I'll stick on a little piece of tape until the glue has dried. Whew, now that was quite a job. Now I need the sandwich break. Let's paint! I start with the cat lips. And I can easily paint them because I have drawn a little line that shows me where the colors should go. Now the cat lips start up here and goes all around the mouth and up again so that it holds together or ties together the whole big mouth. And then we paint the ears and a little pink nose. Then a bit of diluted black so that it looks grey. And on top of the feet and on the hands and some stripes on the arms. Bit of white in the eyes and the teeth. And on top of the grey little pink toes, some grey stripes on the tail, stripes along the back, stripes on the side, and finally the whiskers. Whoa! <laughs> What a crazy looking cat! Looks just like a cartoon! Now, in order to stabilize it, we can put some stone in each uh, corner. Now, when it comes to the play part of the cat, we have a few options. The main idea is to hang some dingle dangle at the back of the cat's throat so that your cat can play with it. Uh, but what you hang up is up to you. Here's a little buffet of things you can try. For instance, here's a little cardboard a mouse can hang like this. Uh, we have a, a donut, a cardboard donut. Uh, we have the one that you saw just now made out of uh, yarn. Uh, a self-portrait could be fun, you know, sort of play. The cat can play with yourself. Uh, and finally, penguin! <laughs> All you need to make is a magical uh, lid like this with a hole and a little stick. Then you take your dingle dangle and put the, the string through a hole that you have made on top of the cat. Then through the hole of the magical lid. Tie the string to the little uh, stick. Hi everybody, how are you doing? When you take your cat on a trip, you need to make sure that it is safe all the way. And here's the solution. The cat taxi. Hey. Woohoo! You can make it from a box like this. Just make sure that it's the right size for your cat and that the flaps are glued down all over so that you are ready for the cutting. We start by making a cut at each end like this. Here I have drawn the line showing where to cut and on this side. On the next box I have already made the cut. So on this side it goes off entirely. And on this side, I'm going to open it up into some kind of a door. So I press down and lift up at the same time. Oh, nice. Now notice that 
All the lines are perfectly straight, except for at the end of the door where I have made a nice, elegant little curve. Now, in order for your cat to be safe when you carry it inside the box, we need to make the box stronger. And we do that by adding extra cardboard sheets. And those sheets you can easily find by cutting into other boxes. Now, this one goes inside here and becomes a very solid floor. And since the floor fits perfectly, we can add the glue. There. And when that's done, we can cover up this hole with another sheet of cardboard. I make sure I add plenty of glue because the cardboard is quite porous and uh, sucks up a lot of glue. A bit of tape to hold it on while the glue dries. Now, in order to carry the cat taxi around, we need a strong handle. And we make that by cutting two equal pieces of cardboard like this. Now let me show you how to fold and glue them on. First, we measure uh, two cm uh, down here. Then we fold. That's one and the other like this. Then we need to try them on. So this fold goes around the edge here, but then we need to bring the handle up. So we make a mark right on the middle using the ruler to make a straight fold again. And we are ready to glue. And then I need to tape it down so that it holds everything in place while the glue dries. And then I put something heavy on top. And now I need to wait for it to dry. Ah, nice and dry. Now we can make the lock or the hinge at the back of this uh, door. Here I have cut out uh, three little circles out of cardboard and glued them together. Now, if we cut this in half, I will show you a very clever way of making a lock for the door. We add some glue to the back and we stick one on in the middle at the top and the other one at the bottom. So when the door is closed, they are almost entirely together like that. I'm going to show you exactly how the lock works later. And while we are at it, let's add the bumpers. We put glue on one side, stick it on down here. I give it a little gap down here of about 1 cm. And I have also made sure that the bumper sticks out a bit so that we can fold it around the side like this. Squeeze both of them down and add a little piece of tape to hold them down while the glue dries. And then the other side. Now, before we continue, I'm gonna trim the edges of the front window because now the glue is dry. So I start with removing the tape, getting my knife out, and then I can do the trimming. Now that I have trimmed the edge of the front window, I want to add on another little bumper as well under the window. Now you can carry your cat around. But your cat won't be able to breathe because we don't have any windows. We need windows. But before we cut out the windows, I think we should draw all the details of the whole cat taxi so that we know how big the windows should be. We start with an elegant curve going from this window up to this window, dividing the taxi in two. The windows up here and the rest of the car down here. And then we draw another flowing line 
and this is going to be the checker pattern along the side of the taxi. And then we put in the wheels. We need a compass. One big wheel at the back and a smaller wheel at the front. But I have another taxi over here where the drawing is almost finished. I got the uh, front window over here, the steering wheel, headlights, uh, windows up here, wheels, taxi sign, taxi sign, taxi sign. And you may have noticed in front here, there's a bunch of uh, shapes. Now those are cats. Those are the cats that are driving the taxi. So now we can draw them anyhow we wish. Let me show you one way. I'm putting in the eyes first, nose, smile, ears, and the arms around the steering wheel. One up here, make it a bit different. This one got bigger eyes. But the last one, I'm not drawing a face because here I'm gonna cut out a window so the cat can look through. And now we can cut out the windows, but don't cut them too big or else our cats can jump out and not even pay the taxi fare. Nice. And a little uh, opening at the back and the cat window in the front. Let's paint it up. And uh, in the front. And then the checker pattern. The headlight, the back window, And a bit of pink on the driver. And how about some paws on the rooftop? Wouldn't that be cute? Now, to make sure that your cat is comfortable while traveling, put something nice and soft on the floor. You open up here and in it goes. And some toys and a cat suitcase, cat passport, and some cardboard money to pay the taxi fare. Finally, I'll lock it up with some rubber bands. Well, bon voyage, everybody. Hello cat lovers! Now we are going to build a corner cat maze. We could also call it a cat gym, because that's how cats work out. They jump, they crawl, they climb. It's actually very easy to make. Step 1. Collect a bunch of different boxes. Step 2. Cut holes and glue them together anyhow you wish. Step 3. Add eyes and paint on the cats. Now let me show you a few details. The cats love to play with boxes so much that whatever you do with them, the cats love it. A bit like me actually. So good folks, take your boxes and compose them together anyhow you like. Also, make sure that your boxes are glued together on the flaps so that they are totally sealed. Then we mark the boxes so that we know the positioning before we scramble it. Now we can start cutting the holes and making the maze one box at a time. And we're starting with this box. Draw the hole, checking if it fits. Yeah, I think that's the right size. Then we cut it out. Okay. 
and then we make a matching hole on this side. Ah, perfect fit. Then we continue like that with the other boxes. Beautiful. Yep. And then we glue them all together according to the position that we marked earlier. On top, we need to strengthen the roofs because the cats love to chill up here. And then we need to put something heavy on top to hold it down. Next, we cut the holes for the cats to enter the maze. Now we have the basic construction of the maze, but we still need to make it look good. And what can possibly look better than cats? We start with the eyes. And then the noses. Next comes the ears. And now the teeth. <laughs> okay, it's painting time and we're gonna start with the cat's mouth. A nice little spot on the ear. And a bit of pink inside the ears. Now, before we invite the cats in, we need to uh, cushion up the rooftops. And the maze is done. Now wasn't that easy, folks. Let the cats come. 